Alrighty, it is canning day, and unfortunately I didn't do the first one. I forgot to record, but I found another jar of molasses down in the back of my pantry and figured I'd do another batch and actually record this one. So um, this is like a sweet and kind of tangy barbecue sauce. We kind of like a little bit of both. We like a little extra tang. Um, and we're going to need some vinegar, salt, ketchup, molasses, liquid smoke, and I got onion powder, garlic powder, chili powder, and um, just regular black pepper, and honey. So let's, and then of course you're going to have to have your um, your pot. I got a kettle with um, boiling water and then my canner with all my jars. So to start the recipe, it calls for two cups of ketchup. We always buy the bulk for this reason. I fill up our ketchup bottle and then I use the rest to make barbecue sauce or whatever else I need to, to can. So two cups of ketchup and two cups of vinegar. Perfect. And we're going to need the whole jar or a cup and a half of molasses. And this is just a single recipe. You can always double it. Like I said, I didn't know that I had another jar in the pantry, so I went ahead and decided to do another one. We use barbecue sauce a lot. I'm going to let that sit for a second. And then a cup and a half of honey. I may wind up using all of my honey too. more honey and I need more vinegar. I'll let that sit too. A cup of brown sugar. And this is something good to have. It is a sugar saver. You it's made of clay and you soak in water and let it air dry barely just so it doesn't like drip anymore. And then you keep it in your sugar jar. Then you don't have to worry about it clumping on you. So again, a cup of brown sugar. teaspoon of liquid smoke. No, two teaspoons. I'm sorry, two teaspoons. And half a teaspoon each of garlic powder. These are old Starbucks jars. I just wrote on the top. I'm going to wind up painting them and labeling them, but I find it's easiest to hold all the spices that I need. Half a teaspoon of onion powder. And half a teaspoon of chili powder. Half a teaspoon of pepper. And I use the regular ground pepper because it tends to dissolve easier than if you grind it yourself. Then you don't have chunks of the pepper in there. And then one teaspoon of salt. 
And because I'm canning this, I'm using the canning and pickling salt. And so then we just cook this until it gets kind of thick. Now the longer you cook it, the thicker it's going to get. And then once it stops cooking, the longer it sits, the thicker it's going to get. So I find that I stir it until it doesn't, it's not like a watery consistency anymore. All right, I got everything in, and then I just whisk it all together until all the ketchup is disappeared and it's all mixed in. See, it gets beautiful dark color. And see how it's kind of, it's still really watery still and it makes lots of bubbles when you stir it. I'm going to cook it till it's thick enough to where it doesn't do that anymore. I don't know, about 15 minutes or so. Just kind of keep it, keep it on medium heat and just let it cook. Alright, there she is. It's already starting to get thick on me. So we're just going to let it cook a little bit. And in the meantime, I'm going to get all my stuff ready. My kettle's boiling. I'm going to go ahead and put some in my pot for my lids. I got my jars going and it's ready. And I got all my stuff out. Vinegar, my funnel and my debubbler. I debubble just in case. Um, my rag, ladle. Everything's ready to go, so we just gotta wait for this to cook some. Okay, I've been letting this simmer away, and it's been actually been about 30 minutes or so. You can see that it's reduced some, and it's thick. It swirls when I stir it. So since this is ready, it's time to start canning. And I have got all my tools laid out, and I put a towel down because it's easier to can on a towel. You can just throw it in the washing machine whenever you're done with it and it also works as a hot pad because I like to put my jars here to fill them and then I put my pot here so it's easy instead of having to go from the stove to the jars back to the canner so I put the canner here I put my jars here and then my pot here okay everything is in position canner with the jars I put them here and then I just lay I ladle them and then put them in the canner so these you fill to half inch headspace and then process for 20 minutes, which I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Because I always forget the timer, so if I go ahead and set it, oops, I'll fix it in a minute. If I go ahead and set it and put it to the side where I can see it, I'll remember to start the timer. Otherwise, I always forget to start the timer. So I'm going to go ahead and get these all in the canner. And if filling them and processing them is something y'all want to see, let me know. But I'm going to get these filled and into the canner, and we'll be back. All right, everybody's in and my water's boiling. Now I know it doesn't look like a lot, but you got this is only a single batch. I usually make a double batch and I get eight pints. So um, I, I did a single batch and I got, out of this one, I got four pints and then a half pint. So I've cleaned up my mess, timer, don't forget. And um, it's starting to boil. So I'm going to go ahead, sorry, one-handed. and get my lid on and tighten down and you'll be able to hear when it's ready to start timing when it starts boiling so let me get my mess cleaned up and I have just a splash of vinegar in um, 
in my water. We live in Florida and it doesn't really, we don't really have hard water. But just to kind of keep everything clean and to keep my jars nice and the canner clean. And I do a little splash of vinegar. So I got everything cleaned up. Well, kind of. I got everything put out of the way. Um, as you see, I made a mess. And usually barbecue sauce, it would stick to the counter. And then I'd have to scrub it and clean it forever. So I just use a towel so I can throw it in the washing machine. And I have three of these that are different colors, but they're all the striped. And everybody knows these are my canning towels. So now that I've made a mess, this is where I'm also going to put my jars to lay out. So instead of having to clean and scrub and all kinds of stuff, I just simply just take it and fold it over and voila! You got a nice new clean. And, um, and it also is useful like next I have to make jelly today. So um, this here I'm just going to flip it over and it'll be a clean surface and I'll get to work on my jelly and that way I've only got to use up one towel and just throw it All in the right, washer. Timer has gone off and I turned the heat off, removed it off the burner and now it's time to take them out. Got to help her today. <laughs> always remember when you take the canner lid off to always open it away from you because the steam will give you a sauna that you are not going to enjoy. You let them sit for a while? Until they cool. Until they cool. And what do you have to listen for? When they ping, they're ready. That's right. When they ping, that means they sealed. That's that they sealed. When they ping, they sealed. That's right. And then when they cool and they're all sealed, we can label them and put them in the pantry. Yeah. And then when they're done being in the pantry, you can put them in the fridge. When you open it, that's right. So these are, this is the second batch. Uh-huh. Uh, barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce. It's nice and pretty, huh? Yes. It'll be good stuff. Uh-huh.